Hey guys, I'm Christian Tober from WoodsyDeck.com. Today we're going to be making an arrow out of this piece of wood here. This is a uh, hickory ice stick, I believe. Um, it's a sapling I harvested probably about two and a half years ago. It's been seasoning, so it's pretty dry. And it's, it's pretty straight. We'll have to shave it down a lot to get the correct diameter for our arrow. But uh, that's going to be the first step is shaving it down with our knife. And then I'll, I'll do that and show you what it looks like after that and then we'll move on to the second step. Stay tuned, don't go away. So this is pretty much what I've come up with. Basically it's just a long, pretty much straight stick. It's a little bit bent, but we can fix that um, by heating it up. But uh, after I've carved it down, it's pretty rough still, I want to sand it. And I have two different types of sandpaper. I have a 60 grit sandpaper here. This is like a harder grit for uh, fine tuning, like um, smoothing the rough spots out. And I have a really fine grit here, I think it's this 240, um, 240 grit, and that'll make it really nice and smooth. So uh, we'll do some sanding. And then for thickness for the arrow shaft, uh, some medieval war arrows were up to like a half inch in, in diameter. But for most like hunting applications, stuff like that, you want anywhere from probably like 3 eighths to a fourth inch. Um, you don't really need it that thick. So uh, this is about what I want. I'm going to sand it down just a bit, and then we'll go on to straightening it in the fire. So I'll sand this and get right back to you. One thing I didn't mention before was that if you don't have sandpaper, like if you're in the, you know, in the wild and you're trying to make arrows, you can also use just a rough, coarse stone to, you know, sand your shafts down. You know, there's a lot of sandstone where I live. Just a lot of it's too fine to get out some of the major pumps in here. I just have some sandpaper, you know, readily available, so that's what I'm using. But you can also, you can use any really type of rough, coarse stone to do this kind of work. So, different day. Uh, I had a lot of work to do uh, yesterday, so I couldn't get a lot of the filming done that I needed to. But I wanted to give you just a little quick close-up of the arrow. Uh, it's a little bit thicker than I wanted it to be. Um, you can see I got a roaring fire here. We're going to let that settle down a little bit and then we're going to straighten this arrow with heat. But um, I tapered it a little bit toward the ends. Uh, so it's a little bit more tapered. It's a little bit bigger. I'd like this to be somewhat smaller, but um, it'll work. And I sanded it. It's real nice and smooth. Um, there is a bend in it. About in the middle, right, right along this side. So I need to heat this up in the fire and then bend it to straighten it and I'll uh, show you how to do this right now. Okay, so the fire is pretty much burned down to coals which is what we want. And then we need to look down our arrow and figure out where our bend is at. Like I said, the bend is curving like this on this side and is like this on this side. And then we're just going to slowly heat our arrow up where we want to bend it on top of the coals. It's kind of like roasting a marshmallow. You don't want to burn it, well, unless you like your marshmallow burnt. But you don't want to really burn it. Uh, you just want to heat it up until the wood is completely heated up. So I'm just going to heat it up on top of the coals like this. I don't want to put this in the fire. I'm just heating it up on top of the coals. Then when it's good and hot, I'll take it in my hands and bend it the way I want it. Then hold it, hold it till it's bent and cools down. And that's how you straighten your arrow. So this is pretty straight. It has a little bit more bend, so I'm gonna heat it up one more time. But the way you wanna make sure it's straight is you just look down the arrow with your eye at one point and you can turn it around to slightly see where the bend is. So you can see there's another bend kind of near the bottom area. Let me heat it up just a bit more. And I hold it in position and let it cool. So I've gotten this arrow pretty much straight to where when I look down it there's no turns and curves in it. It's just completely straight like it needs to be. And that's how we make our arrow. 
Uh, in the next video, I'll probably show you how to make a, a broadhead, a different type of broadhead for uh, this arrow, and we're going to show you how to mount it. So um, I'll see you next time. I'm Christian Tober from woodsytech.com. Please like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.